Well, we got us a new and broken system, broken trust. He's got him a couple of traffic tickets, and he's going to teach us how to do it using the Mark Stevens method of asking stupid questions about jurisdiction and asking for clarifications. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Calling people, number 21-00184. This is the date and time set for a hearing. Good afternoon. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Lisa Mommy on behalf of White Lake Township. All right, so this was originally scheduled for a show cause hearing. Mr. Lanto failed to appear at the last pretrial set for October 12th. So you're here today. Is there a resolution in this case? Now, that's a real good question because there's a hell of a resolution and an offer on the table. Let's see if this uh, gentleman is smart enough to figure it out. Judge, uh, at the last opportunity uh, for a pretrial, I did offer uh, a plea offer to was renew driver's license and dismiss. Um, I would dismiss that charge. I don't know that he's renewed his driver's license, Judge, because I don't have an updated driving record. All right. Yes. Do you want to take advantage of that offer? Um, well, I did submit paperwork to the court yesterday. Of course you did. Soft sits always give paper to the court right before a hearing. I came up there? You, yes, you sent a, you submitted a document called Notice of Deficiencies and Irregularities Supported by Declaration. In other words, soft sit bullshit. Yes, and I was also submitted at the original uh, case as well, and I don't, I, I believe that that has gone unrebutted at this time. I have not been served. But it's, it's not properly pled. And that's a problem all pseudo lawyers have. They don't know anything about how to plead a case, how to file documents, or how to serve the opposing party. And this guy's no different. But if it's, did you, did you serve a copy on Ms. Hamame? Uh, at the court date prior to this one, Ms. Hamame did ask for a copy of that. I don't know if she received it or not. Well, you have to file, you have to file things properly. They have to be properly served in order for the court to hear them. So I, I really can't address that today. All I'm I have not received a copy of it, Judge. So I, I guess all I'm asking at this point is an offer on the there's an offer to resolve this case. Well, I certainly would like resolution. Uh, the oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were done speaking. What, what was the offer again, Ms. Hamame? Now listen to this offer. It's a dilly. Judge, I, it, he was charged with driving while license expired canceled from 1119 of 2020 and a registration plate violation for having expired plates. The offer was if he renewed his driver's license, I would dismiss the driving while license expired and he would take responsibility to the civil infraction for the expired plates. So so she's willing to dismiss the more serious charge if you've renewed your license and then there would be a fine there'd be a fine on the registration plate violation. I'm certainly taking account if you're taking care of that in regard to mitigating your fines. Jesus, what a deal he's offered here. The big one's gone, and all he has to do is pay a little bitty fine. You think this brilliant scholar is going to accept it? <laughs> Just listen. But that's up to you if you want to take care. If you want to accept that offer, you can take care of it today if you renewed your license. Well, I'd certainly like to get this resolved today. I mean, I, all I'm looking for is to have fair and meaningful hearings here today. And so it appears... Okay, well that you know that we're, we're back for the third or fourth time now we're, we ha we haven't been able to make any sort of progress on this so um you know if i well, have the i think there's a there's an offer on the table so you haven't accepted it or denied it that's why we can't go forward progress is an offer on the table you doofus you have to you have to make a assertion to let me know what you want to do well, I made the assertions yesterday. I came up there to file motions to dismiss the charges based on the uh, fact that the prosecutor has filed, fa uh, fi failed to file a proper case. 
And that's a standard uh, pseudo lawyer bullshit, Mark Stevens thing. Because I haven't seen any factual. I don't have that. I have. I have a. It says notice of deficiencies and irregularities supported by declaration. Okay, and, and then it's not a motion to dismiss. Well, I did file uh, two motions yesterday. Of course you did. Uh, so I don't know if those made well, it into my file or not. You can't file. Well, so just so you understand, you can't file motions to dismiss the day before the hearing. I can't hear them. Okay. Is well, then can we adjourn this until you can? You, you had a, you you filed you filed a. It looks like there's a proposed order, but I, I'm not going to sign it because I haven't ordered anything. Okay. So I, I have to hear when when something like that is filed. That has to be an order based upon a hearing, and, and you can't just come in and file something like that. It has to be properly heard before the court, and that was not heard before the court. So I, I appreciate the documents you're filing, but uh, again, I have to follow the law. And she's awful nice to him, but she said something important there. She has to follow the law, and that is all the laws and the rules. And make sure that the court rules are followed, and if they're not properly followed, I can't properly hear the matters. Okay. Um, are we on? We're we're on record right now, or? I'm, everything we've said has been on the record. Okay. Um, it, has the prosecutor filed anything to establish jurisdiction at this time? Because I have not seen. There it is, jurisdiction, and she goes and gives him a hell of a schooling on how jurisdiction is established in this case. And if I, I, I would like to be entitled to discovery, if the prosecutor has that, then I'd be able to make an educated decision well, moving Mr. forward. There's, there's a complaint filed in the form of a ticket. Okay, does that establish jurisdiction? It establishes that on June, it alleges that on June 24th of 2021, at approximately 1.47 p.m., in the township of White Lake, County of Oakland, State of Michigan, on White Lake Road, Editor Tagardine Road, that you were driving a motor vehicle while having an expired registration plate and driving while you had an expired or canceled driver's license. Okay. Okay, she has just given him, given him a prima facie case loaded with prima facie evidence that establishes jurisdiction. It establishes a rebuttable presumption of jurisdiction that if he wants to challenge it, he has to bring some supporting evidence to show that uh, there is a lack of jurisdiction in this case. Let's continue. So does and that the, so does that establish jurisdictional district court is is this court the fifty two two district court in Clarkston? Well, I'd be. I, it was the White Lake Township Police Department. So it appears to me that that there's jurisdiction is proper unless you're alleging it didn't happen in White Lake. Well, I would be willing to concede that the court had the geographical area. Oh my goodness, he just conceded to territorial jurisdiction of the court. Whoa! What I'm not willing to concede is if there's any corpus delecti or any factual evidence of jurisdiction, which is the second half of jurisdiction, which is what the prosecutor needs to file in order to have a proper case before the court. Blah, 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 blah. It's nothing but internet pseudo lawyer babble doesn't mean a thing as far as i can tell I is, is is there a verified I don't claim? Understand. is there a Mr. verified Lanto, I, it's a verified complaint by the submission of the complaint if you if you read the statutes this law passed a long time ago and by, by virtue of submitting the complaint that's verified and remember doofus she said she has to follow the law. This is a court of law. Issued by Officer Swalwell on June 24th of 2001. And his officer... And if you, if, you read, if you read the complaint, it's verified. And that is what the court is going to go by as, as far as establishing jurisdiction? Because like I said, it's I'm willing... what I'm allowed to go by, yes. It's what court rule and statute allows me to go by. So that is what I'm going to go by. Okay. There you go. She's going to go by the statutes, by the law. She's a judge in a court of law. Okay, so the, the officer is alleging that I caused him loss, injury, or harm? No, you doofus. Yeah. Again, there's an, offer on, there's an offer on the table, and I'm, I'm not trying this case today because it's a show cause hearing. 
you can take advantage of the offer or I can set it for trial or if you feel like you can if you want to maybe make some work toward getting your license taken care of and you request an adjournment I'll be happy to adjourn this she is really trying to accommodate this bozo and he doesn't even realize it but I'm not going to try the case right at this moment it's not proper the doofus wants to try the case. He keeps trying to bring in his, what he thinks is the merits of his case. Uh, he's going to get into the script here before long, and I don't think the judge is going to care for it. Okay, well, my understanding is that jurisdiction could be challenged at any stage of the, the court proceeding. And that's true, but when you make a challenge, you have to, the burden shifts to you to prove the lack of jurisdiction. Doofus. Well, yes, you can. You can you can challenge it by proper hearing. That's correct. Okay, and do you I have to make the allegation? Okay, and do I have do I? Have but the... I, I'm telling you right now. I, I'm telling you right now. I don't know what. I I don't even know what your objection is because it's a properly filed. I don't see any deficiencies in it. So if you're going to make an allegation that's not proper, you're going to have to tell me what you feel is the deficiency. Well, it's far as a deficiency i mean it that ticket doesn't uh, that that ticket is that does nothing to prove that anything happened it's not a factual the it's, ticket doesn't have to tell it doesn't have to prove that's what trials are for okay it has to allege okay because to make a showing now that if if that isn't the dumbest thought this guy ever had and he he doesn't even realize that things are handled at trial it has to allege. My understanding is that the burden of proof is not on me. Is that correct? The burden of innocence or guilt is not yours to bear. Your burden to bear is to prove in your challenge of jurisdiction that jurisdiction is improper and is lacking. That's your burden. Burden of proof is not on you. The burden of proof is on the prosecutor. Okay, and has the prosecutor filed anything to establish a proper case? Because the prosecutor filed the complaint through the ticket, yes. And does the prosecutor have any first-hand knowledge of what happened? The prosecutor doesn't have to have first-hand knowledge. That's what trials are for. See, this is one thing that uh, Stevens hammers into him, this first-hand knowledge. They don't realize that only the witness has to have the first-hand knowledge. She has to be able to provide witnesses that can that can prove her prove her burden. Okay. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. Well, but it, you it, have to tell me whether or not you want a trial or you want to take advantage of the offer. That's what I'm trying to get to. Well, I don't think it's a, a, an offer to be taken advantage of. That's my position. I've submitted All the. Right. I've submitted so the. Do you want a trial? Uh, I would like. Do you want to adjourn this to a to a to a pretrial? What what? Tell well, I, me what you're asking. I would like the I I would like the court to consider the motions that I submitted to dismiss the charges altogether. Well, based upon what you're telling me today, then your motions are denied. Boom. They're not properly filed. They're not properly pled. So I'm going to deny the motion. Okay, so do I have the right to the jurisdictional in regard to the jurisdictional issue? You've not provided me any any uh, information to show that jurisdiction is improper. Well, again, the and I have a complaint in front. Of, I have a verified complaint in front of me that I'm reviewing, and it looks perfectly proper. So I'm going to deny your motion to uh, dismiss pursuant to jurisdiction. Boom again, Mr. Dufus. And that's on the court's the, the court's own reading. Okay, can I see the factual evidence of jurisdiction? Because as far as I the factual evidence of jurisdiction, Mister Dumbass, is you are interacting with the judge in court in a legal proceeding. And jurisdiction is is all around you there, bub. I can tell I didn't sign anything, and I not did not this morning, not this afternoon. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you, and please stick stick to the hearing because if you want something like that you have to file the proper papers you have to you have to ask if you want discovery you can get discovery but you have to tell me that you're not going to accept the offer and you tell me what you want to do do you want this set for a trial do you want to have another a right uh, a pre-trial what is it that you're asking the court to do but I, I can't sit here and spend the whole afternoon talking about this case I don't have the time 
Well, I understand. I'm not trying to take up the, the court's time. I, I call bullshit on that. I know the court's time is valuable, and I'm not trying to do any what of do that. Want, what do you want to do? Well, what do I, you want to do at this point? I don't wish to take advantage of uh, the offer. I don't wish to do okay. that today. And I don't wish All to... All right. Do you want this matter set for trial? Uh, no, I don't want the matter set for trial either. I want an option that doesn't exist, Judge. I'm special. As far as All I right, can tell. So we'll adjourn. We'll adjourn. It's really a show cause hearing, so we'll adjourn for pretrial. So we're adjourning this matter. We're postponing this matter. Well, that's what you're telling me you want to do. <laughs> well, I just want, like I said, I I want to have fair and meaningful hearings. I'm giving you fair and meaningful hearings. Well, if. Okay, in a meaningful hearing, do we get to make progress? I'm going to give you a $200 personal bond. I don't... Whoa, she slapped him with a $200 bond. See, that bond has been set. That bond ensures that you will appear in court. If for some reason you fail to appear in court without a proper request or a proper adjournment, then you do run the risk of having that bond forfeited. A bench warrant could issue for your arrest. Ultimately, a new bond would be set. So in other words, just come to court when you're supposed to. Okay? Are you requesting that Ms. Hamami provide you with discovery? Uh, yes, I'm asking for discovery. And All right. I don't, I don't believe so, a ticket is a verified Ms. Hamami, if you... Nobody gives a damn what you think about the ticket. You will send... Your discovery? You sure. have his address? Yes, on the ticket. I have it, Judge. That's what I'd be sending him is the ticket. Is that your correct address on the ticket? It's the same address that we have. That that is a that is a correct address for me. All right. All right. Judge. So Ms. Hamami will forward discovery to you. Okay. Judge, just to be just to be clear, if Mitch if I'd be a lawyer for you, um, if you have legal issues and you want to hire an attorney or speak to an attorney, that's certainly up to you. If you want to have the um, benefit of the court appointed attorney, I will happily let you talk to the court appointed attorney when you come back for your pretrial. Well, I'm simply you, asking she, for she, clarification on am I presumed innocent? Of You're not asking for. Ah, uh, here he starts with the script. She's not going to tolerate it. For clarification, you asked me if you asked me if you're presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, and I said yes. Okay. Now, I'm not going to start getting into legal matters because now you, you were starting to break it down into legal questions. Well, I'm just so I'm just answering your question. That that is correct. In a okay. So manner, you are presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Okay, and so I'm presumed innocent of all the elements of a charge, correct? I just said you're innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You okay. can make the determination of what that means. Okay, and <laughs> you're going to have to make a determination of what that means, Mr. Doofus. One of those elements is jurisdiction, correct? I'm not going any further. I've already given you my time. You're starting to ask legal questions. If you have those legal questions, you should ask a, an attorney. Well, I'm asking for okay. clarification right now on the record. You're not so asking for clarification. You're asking a legal question. So you'll have to research that issue yourself or talk to an attorney. Well, you, you are you are innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. I don't know how the prosecutor would be able to prove something unless she went through each element, but that's a that's a legal question. Okay, well then at discovery I will get I should be entitled to see the proof of jurisdiction then, correct? All right. I'm going to I'm going to stop this right now. You keep going and I've told you uh, at least 6 times now that you're going beyond where I can help you. So we, you will get a new court date in the mail, and we will see you at your pretrial. Thank you. Okay, and so just just for clarification, though, that's not a yes or a no as far as the element of jurisdiction, correct? You can talk to an attorney about that. Well, but I would or like... Or research it yourself. Well, I have research, okay. researched okay. it for myself. Yeah, and we know how that research has uh, served you. <laughs> you dumbass. So all that's... Right, so now, I've given you all the information I can possibly give you. So thank you. Okay, are we going to? And she hangs up on him. <laughs> uh, he's got some other things I'm putting together. He's a funny guy. So uh, stay tuned. Hit the like button and subscribe if you will. And stay tuned for the next go round.